Hey guys, Miss Luca here. We have a fun surprise for you today. We have Miss Jones here, and we're gonna be talking about monarch butterflies today. All right, so I'm going to talk all about these little monarch caterpillars that turned into butterflies. My family and I have been doing a monarch tagging program for about eight years. We're gonna place small stickers on the monarch so that they can travel all the way from here to Mexico and be traced. If someone finds this monarch down in Mexico over 2,000 miles away and they turn in the monarch because at that point they get older and they die, if they turn these in to the scientist in Mexico, they get about $5 each and they can help trace that I tagged it here in Delaware and it flew all the way down to Mexico. All the way down to Mexico! crazy very far away so i track the data the data is important for scientists i put down the first thing you see there is the tag number and then it's today's date we have one male and one female uh, monarch i'll tell you how that works there's the zip code of our middle school that's where i'm releasing it and r stands for reared i raised it from a caterpillar because i have milkweed in my yard and milkweed is a plant it's the only thing that the caterpillars can eat. So I grow it in my yard and every year we take the baby caterpillars once they get big and I put them in an outdoor cage now. I've been doing this outdoors lately. And then these ones hatched and I put them in this little tiny container to transport them here to Miss Luca at school so we could tell you all about it. So tell them how it usually works. It's awesome that the kids get to do it. Yeah, so usually if you guys were here in school, normally uh, Miss Jones would bring us some of these recently hatched caterpillars or in turn into butterflies. And we would actually have you guys be able to take your little fingers on the wings and actually let them go and release them off to Mexico. So unfortunately we had to do a little bit virtually this year. Um, so Miss Jones and I will do it instead. But we thought it would be really cool to show you how it works. Okay, so I'm gonna give Miss Luca one and I'll have one. And then we always do this awesome countdown. butterfly friend here. Now I'm not hurting him at all or her. Is this a he or her? Um, I think you've got the girl. I think I got the girl. I'm not hurting her at all. I just got her wings uh, just kind of clenched in my fingers really gently. And I know that she has the girl because when I did these, there's a way to tell the boy versus the girl. The boy has much finer lines on his wing and on the inside he's got two small dots on the bottom. The girl has very thick lines that look like someone took a thick black sharpie to give her her lines instead. Mm. All right. You're always the countdown person. I know, I'm always the countdown person. All right, so on the count of three, we always let them go and they're gonna fly off to Mexico. Ready? One, two, three, go. Oh, they're shy oh, today. They're go. There they go. Oh. <laughs> awesome. Bye, butterflies. There they go. I hope they make it to Mexico. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. The Butterfly Life Cycle. Stage one, the egg. The egg is a tiny, lightly colored oval. The female butterfly attaches the egg to leaves and or stems. The egg is usually placed on or near caterpillar food. While in the egg stage, the caterpillar grows in the inside of the egg. Stage two, the larva. The caterpillar or larva is the long worm-like stage of a butterfly. It often has an interesting pattern of stripes or patches, and it may have spine-like hairs. It is in the feeding and growth stage. As the caterpillar grows, it will shed its skin several times. Stage 3. The pupa or chrysalis. The pupa or chrysalis 
is the transformation stage in which the caterpillar forms a protective shell around its body so it can form from a caterpillar to a butterfly. Once the pupa or chrysalis is fully grown, the shell begins to split open. Stage 4, the adult butterfly. In the adult stage, the caterpillar turns into a colorful butterfly. It is the final stage for the species. The life cycle is the process in which a living thing grows and changes. The nectar and proboscis. The nectar is the juice of the plant. Nectar is what a butterfly eats. Proboscis is a long tongue-like tube that is used to suck up the nectar. Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis is the big change a larva goes through in the cocoon to become a butterfly. The adult butterfly.